a lot of times when we meet together, like we'll create some kind of a document and you know we'll figure out different ways to organize that data. For example, one meeting that we had um, last week, we were taking a reading and you know just questions that kids got right and wrong and we just kind of come up with different ways to sort the information but I think it's definitely gotten easier and there's always different ways that you can you can analyze yeah. it. We're um, constantly looking at data through our programs that students are using. Um, Lexia for example is one of the programs our students use in reading um, ST Math and we're looking at where students have either been flagged or if they have an alert and then we can kind of target those specific areas for that individual student or get them together to work in a group. Analyzing data should not take that much time. You know, these um, formative assessments, these exit tickets, all of these tools should be there for us to have that information quickly and to help us regroup our students. And it shouldn't be something where it's really like teacher heavy and, and a burden to us. And I think maybe at the beginning that was something that we struggled with where I feel like now I can look at a you know, set of numbers or percentiles or any sort of data and I can make decisions more quickly on how to group my students. Or we're giving exit tickets, you know, where it doesn't have to be 20 questions. It can be two or three questions and we can see where our students are. When you leave me, step one, answer these questions. Try your best. Step two, check out this brain pop. Step three, answer these using these pictures. And then there's a wave vocab exit slip. Not for correctness, just for completion. But these are the questions on the exit slip. It's just asking you these vocab words. If you get them wrong, where should you copy and paste the answers? So you can study for them.